YouTube, B Smokehouse back here with you. Today we're going to be making some Smokehouse bacon. It's going to be about a week long process. Today is Saturday night. Let me show you how we're going to get this done real quick, real fast. We got prick powder. Black pepper. Red crushed chili flakes. Salt. Brown sugar. Honey. All right, so now we've got a mixture here. Again, this is honey, red, red chili pepper flakes, um, brown sugar, kosher salt, black pepper. This is gonna be my bacon cure. This uh, piece of pork belly, this is about a three and a half, four pound piece of pork belly. It's gonna set in this for the next seven days. Next seven days. So what we need to do is get some of this. See it's like a loosely sand type texture. So what we're going for. Now this is my first time doing this. I have cured other meats. So I'm not too unfamiliar with curing meats. I, I am doing this to kind of nail down the profile that me and my family likes, right? Um, I've used the same curing recipe, which will be down in the description for other types of pork. So we're going to get this on there. It's a messy job, guys, but I can clean this up as soon as I'm done. So I want to make sure I get top side, bottom side. I want You want to use all this cure and leave none behind. So right now I'm going on a plate, but I am going to put this in one of my pressure vacuum seal bags. And then it's going to go into my fridge where I'll flip it every day. Rub it on there. So now we're going to take this, make sure that's all on the sides. I'm going to use all this, even the stuff that's falling off. So what I'll do is, I'm going to get my bag ready. I'll bring you guys back when I have this in the bag. Stay tuned. Here you go, guys. Here's what the final product looks like. This is going to go into my fridge for the next seven days. And then I'm going to take it out, cold smoke it, and then we're going to slice it. My plan with this, we're going to make, make some BLTs out of this. Now... Again, some of the ingredients we used, pink salt, black pepper, kosher salt, red pepper chili flakes. <clears throat> That's pretty much it, brown sugar. So we're gonna let this roll. I'm gonna put it in the vessel and set it in my fridge. The next time you guys will see me is when I'm taking this out to go ahead and, and, and uh, rinse it off, put it back in the fridge to form a pellicle that is what that is a skin that is formed over this that the smoke sticks to and then from there we're gonna smoke it get it, cut us some strips off and get into a pan to make a, a, a BLT be back the old turn looking pretty good B Smokehouse back here with you. Let me show you what we have. This was a process that was started last Saturday night. I have this about a two and a half pound slab of pork belly. I cured this and it's, this is day six. Um, because this is not a whole slab, I'm gonna go ahead and take it off, take it out of the uh, cure. I know that the cure has worked because I can tell, look at the coloration, look at that coloration. And the meat feels firmer than it did. It feels like it's almost frozen, but it's not. That, that cure has worked. 
and now we have bacon. However, there's a few other steps that needs to occur to this um, prior to me putting it on the smoker. Now, I'm going to rinse this off. I don't need all these other seasoning and spices that's on here. Give me two minutes. I'll be back. All right. Here is my cured bacon. But we're not finished yet. We're going to get some 16 mesh. You know how we do it. We got to get this on there. And I'm still got a, I've still got a form of pellicle. That is what the smoke, in this case, applewood smoke, attaches itself to. We're going to get this. <clears throat> Remember, we, we do the underside first. My presentation side, we're going to do last. That's the side we want to try and keep pretty because that's the side I get all my pictures from. Again, we pat. We don't rub. It is called a rub, but we pat. All right. And you go... If, if you're going to do this, you put however much black pepper on it to, to your heart's content. Just remember, this is going to smoke real lightly, in my case, because I'm not going to put this on my stick burner. This will be on a Weber kettle. We're going to use some apple wood. <clears throat> this will smoke for four to six hours. And, and, and it's a cold smoke. It's not, no heat will be applied. You'll see when I set it up. It's a little different than a hot smoke. All right, now on that fat side, there you have it. So this will set my refrigerator uncovered for the next day, maybe two days. It's okay. Um, it's going to form a pellicle. Again, that pellicle is another skin, an outside layer of skin that is formed, um, and it allows smoke to it be adhered to the pellicle so this is going to my fridge I'll be back with you guys in the next day or two all right we got pork belly bacon about two and a half pounds it's been cured we went on 16 mesh black pepper there you have it here we are here we are it's the big day I got my three pound piece of uh, pork belly here. The only thing I've done since I pulled it out of that cure is I've, I've peppered it down and I put it back in the fridge and I just pulled it out. I'm gonna allow this to come to room temperature before I go ahead and get a fire started. I've got some high winds here in my area, so I'm gonna use my Weber kettle. We'll start off with a cold smoke and when we proceed that, it'll be with the actual cooking. Stay tuned. Let me show you what we got. We got a true cold smoke going on. There's my bacon. Again, nothing else has been done. You see the fresh pepper I've put on there? Applewood, applewood. We're keeping it to a true cold smoke. I got a really small fire there. Don't want my temperatures getting out of control. I want this piece of pork soak up some of this applewood smoke. You can see we've started smoking. Also, you see in the bottom I've got ice. Let's go. As you can see, we've got a bit of wind. I like the color on that bacon. Here, now I'm going to get this on a buffer here so I can start me a legit fire. Low and slow, let it go for another hour or two, and we're going to have some actual edible bacon. Stay tuned. YouTube, B Smoke, I was back here with you with my finished final product. So here you have the bacon that's taken about a week long. I went ahead and made an actual BLT with it. Now, this, the texture of this is more like buckboard bacon. Let's recap what we did, and I'll give you guys a taste test. So, last Saturday afternoon, I took a piece of three-pound pork belly, what you see here, and I uh, applied a dry cure to it. That dry cure consisted of brown sugar, uh, pink salt, uh, kosher salt. Um, now, actually, I think that was about it, right? So then, I mixed it up. Got it all over this pork belly and then vacuum sealed it. It sat in my fridge for the next six days, uh, fearing that this would be too salty uh, because it's a three pound pork belly instead of a 10 or 15 pound pork belly. I did use an online calculator to calculate my cure and time. All right, smells good, smells like bacon. Texture is a little bit different. Uh, I like 
I like on here, you can see that black pepper. You can tell that cures worked. That's pretty good. It's delicious. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna cap off my, as you can see here too, I also made my own bread. This is a brioche style bread. And this is what we're gonna get put together here. Let me cut this and I'll be back. The BLT. I can tell you this is better than store bought. The bacon, it is. So there you have the remainder pieces as well as that slab. You have the bread I've made. Of course, we can't go wrong without Dukes. Let's go. Let me give you guys a taste test. Pretty good. Mm. You taste the saltiness on that bacon, the, the sweetness from that brown sugar. You taste the red chili pepper flakes. Also, overall, pretty good. I think the next few slices I'm gonna take off here is gonna be really thin to give that more home style bacon, right? The store bought bacon. Hey, if you guys haven't done so already, please like, share comment and subscribe to be smokehouse i'll be back again next week with another video thank you be smokehouse out